Good afternoon, everybody. Enter the stars. And thanks for coming on. We're going to have a couple of live hangouts today, one starting now on Star Wars, The Force Awakens. The other hangout that we're going to have after this in about an hour is going to be the Canberra Parliament House of, Mo of Moloch. Welcome to your prison. These are the two hangouts we're going to have today. We're going to have a third hangout on Sunday. The Salt Lake City Visitor Center to Hell. Breaking Discovery. Now, thanks to the subscribers who sent me this information, who told me to look into the Par Parliament House. I believe it was D who asked me to look into the Parliament House and also the Salt Lake City Visitor Center to Hell. I gave it a second look in Google Earth, and we'll cover that in about an hour. But for now, we're here to reveal the secrets of the Force Awakens. Now, for those of you that are Star Wars fans, this will be an eye-opening and never-before-seen analysis of the Force Awakens. No one else has made these discoveries because no one else is looking for this stuff. We made the dis discovery here. I gave the Force Awakens a second look and what I found was was stunning. It was stunning, you guys. And all of this is based off of the work that we're already doing here on Enter the Stars. I'm going to let a couple more people in here, into the chat, before uh, we get started. I'll give some shout-outs. Mind FK, Texan7, asked me about Camp Studio. Flashing box pops up. Um... There's information out there, Texan 7, on how to fix that. The flashing, it, it's a setting in Camp Studio, but I cannot remember off the top of my head. But if you do a Google search on flashing, how to make it stop, it'll there, it'll tell you how to make that stop. Saeed, thanks for coming in. Ozaru, good afternoon. Finally, I'm awake. Josie Wales, Michael Grace, Cindy Whaley, Albert Kerr, Cindy running amok. Richard, all right, you guys, we're going to go ahead and get started. Now, this is nuts. I know I always say that, but it, I'm, ne they never cease to amaze me. Now, The Force Awakens came out, you guessed it, on Saturnalia, December of 2015, the second day of the Festival of Saturnalia. And we covered on this channel months before this ever released. Months before it ever released. We were covering Saturnalia. We we're also covering the hexagon on the North Pole of Saturn. Yes, there is a physical hexagonal feature on the North Pole of Saturn. Now, for those of you that are Star Wars fans that watched this film, you understand that the Rebel base was on a planet that had rings like Saturn. And at the First Order, which was kind of like the Third Reich, right? They were like the Nazis. Their base was the giant eye. And they had a hexagon at the top, which was the central part of the base. And what you're looking at is a three-dimensional view of the center of this base. The, the uh, First Order base. Going down the center, and on the top of this is a hexagonal feature, but you're looking at a relief of the hexagon. This is a hexagon. Now, the hexagon is also a cube. A hexagon is also a cube. And what the hexagon represents, for those of you that are new to this channel, is the hexagon is the honeycomb. It is the matrix that we are stuck in. Now, this scene, the screenshot that you're looking at, is where Han Solo walks out onto this narrow gate and he meets Kylo Ren, his son. So you have the father and the son. And of course, Kylo Ren has this, he has this lightsaber that is shaped like a cross. And of course, 
Kylo Ren kills his dad, Han Solo. Here, of course, is the hexagonal tunnel, so to speak. Okay, this is Han Solo falling. Now, this is, gives me chills because everything that they're talking about is the mirror opposites of the truth. This is all Antichrist. So, the father didn't fall into the matrix. The son was supposed to fall into the matrix. Kylo Ren is supposed to be the Jesus figure with the sword. Here's his cross, crucified on the cross. But everything's backwards. Instead of Christ being good, they're showing an antichrist. The dark side on the dark cross, the red cross is his lightsaber. And instead of the sun falling to earth into the matrix, they're showing the father falling into the matrix. Now, what am I talking about, the matrix? Well, let me break it down further. And this may be one of my best decodes because they wrote everything that we've been talking about into Star Wars, the film, before any of us have seen this. Now, am I tooting my own horn? No, I'm not. Tooting the horn of the Holy Spirit that is revealing these things to us before they happen. And here is the proof right here. What you're looking at on your right is the discovery that we made on this channel of the narrow gate. This is the hyaloid canal of the inner eye. And for those of you that don't believe what I'm saying, go back onto this channel and check and see when these discoveries were made on this channel before this film came out. The narrow gate to heaven. This is the staff. The staff of Moses. The staff of Aaron. The staff of Jacob. This is the narrow gate with serpents all around it. Wrapped around it, trying to stop you from reaching heaven. This is also time. The sine wave is the serpent wrapped around this staff. Going up and down, having us locked in time. If you look at a graph of a sine wave, you will see exactly that. A straight line with a serpent wrapped around it. Now, how did Moses know about this? God instructed him to erect a pole with a serpent around it. And he told the Israelites to stare at it because they were complaining that they had to eat manna and that they were in the wilderness with no food. And God reminded them of where they came from. He reminded them of the narrow gate to heaven. Now, we live on this earth. This is the earth. It's a convex lens. The planets, the sun and the moon, comets, asteroids, all float around in this void. And the stars are fixed in the firmament all along the edge. This is your universe encoded right into your human body. Now, the star, the, what you're seeing in here is the called the cube star matrix. Many of you will recognize this as the Star of David. But if you count these dots, the cube contains 37 dots, and the star surrounding it along with the cube is the 73 dots. And 37 is the 12th prime number, and 73 is the 21st prime number. 12 and 21 are mirrors of one another, as are 37 and 73, a mirror of each other. And here is our reality. The prison is this cube. Again, the prison is the cube. This is at the North Pole of Saturn. This is the cube. We are locked in sine wave, the sin. And what you're looking at on the right is an exact duplicate of the depiction and the storyline, the father and the son on the narrow gate, the remnant left over. The son kills the father, though. You see, this is the mockery. The son turns dark and kills the father on this narrow gate in the film. 
And here you see the giant hexagon. Because Christ had to fall into this matrix. He fell from heaven into our matrix world. Born and live as a man. When was he born? When Let's talk about when Christ was conceived. He was conceived on 12-21. And nine months later, he was born on 9-11. 12-21, December 21st, he was conceived. Spiritually, the sperm met the egg in the womb. This is the womb. Nine months later, he was born on 9-11. Do the math. Do the math. 12-21, the darkest day of the year, Christ fell from heaven to bring life to the world so that we could have everlasting life. 1221 was the date, and 37 is the 12th prime number, and 73 is the 21st prime number. And the entire story of the history of mankind is encoded within your eye. And that is why we are seeing this depiction here of the dark side versus the light side. This is it right here, you guys. Make no mistake. Now, just before the scene, Chewbacca goes around and he plants these thermal detonators all on along these piers to blow up the matrix, right? This is the matrix. And the thermal detonators look like eyes all staring in at what was going on here. Now, just before this scene, this is the, the image we get. As Ray looks up in the sky and this huge Death Star thing is powered by a sun. And again, we see the narrow gate. But here's the problem. It's powered by their sun god. And there it is. Make no mistake. This is exactly what you're looking at right here. There's the narrow gate. Their God is powered by the sun. Our God is much more mighty than the sun. This is the subliminal programming. I'm going to go in here in the chat. Make sure you guys are pick you guys up off the floor because you're probably just blown away right now with all this. But this is the truth. Okay. All right. Thanks, Kim, for coming in and moderating. We got a couple more people in the house. DC4. Michael Grace, Wendell, much love to you guys. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and pop them in the chat, and I'll try to catch them as they kind of go by. Brother Ken just saw this movie last night. There's a reason why you just saw the movie last night, Brother Ken. None, nothing is by accident. And uh, God knew you would come here today to make sense of it. All right. Uh, Channel Life Path likes the new header. I... I got some design skills, so I put together a new new channel banner for my page, and uh, he's going to update that on my website as well. Um, just to l tell a little bit more of the story of what Enter the Stars is and what, what we've discovered here. Okay, so here we go, you guys. Let's, let's continue on with this because it gets much, much deeper. So here we are. There's the narrow gate. This is Ren, or uh, her name was Ray. Looking at this, at just as it's about to suck all the rest of this out of here, out of the sun. It's powered by the sun, and then, and then the sun dies, and then the 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 weapon is powered and energized and ready to fire. And this is what we're looking at. It's almost exactly the same angle as well. Now, let's continue. Here's the final scene again before Han Solo falls to his death, falls into the Matrix. But as we know, Christ was the one who was crucified and fell into our Matrix world so that we could have everlasting life. Now, 
we're going to go ahead and button this up because I want to show you guys the rest of the story. Because you're asking yourself, where is the cross? Where is Jesus in all this? Okay, because I, I just described to you the 1221, December 21st, when he was conceived and fell through the hyloid canal, through the narrow gate into our world. Die for us, but it goes deeper because back here is where Christ is. He's in the cross, crucified, where these optic nerves come out of the back of your eye and the cross in the middle near your pineal gland. And that is where Christ was. That's where he he died. Now the Bible says that the that the temple veil was ripped from top to bottom, and there was a great earthquake. This is the temple veil ripped from top to bottom when Christ was crucified. Right before your eyes is what you're looking at here. All right, let's close this back. Let's pop this up here. Now, this is the end of the film. When Ray finds Luke Skywalker. And here they show Ray on the serpent trail. First, and then they show her on the straight trail just before she reaches Luke Skywalker. Now, for those of you that are unsure of what this means, I'm going to show it to you. This is what they're depicting. They're depicting the sine wave. They're depicting this. This is our reality we're stuck in. We're stuck in the reality of time, time and space. Heaven is not like this. In heaven, there is no beginning and no end. Let's take a look at this. So first they show her on the curvy road, right? This is the sine wave. This is the serpent wrapped around the pole. God told Moses, erect a serpent around brass. Now we did a decode on this, and the serpent was made out of copper. Or bronze. And we found out that bronze is 88% copper. We're like, whoa, we've been talking about the number 88 quite a bit. So this is it. This is the serpent wrapped around the copper or the, the tree, the, the copper serpent wrapped around the tree, okay? Trying to stop us from reaching heaven, from keep taking the narrow gate, locked in time. And this is what they're depicting here. First, on the... The windy road, Ray, I think they might have named her Ray because it's like a ray of light maybe. And then she hits the straight road, and then just above here is Luke Skywalker. She's going to go give him his lightsaber so he can save them, right? So that's what's being depicted here. This almost looks like a serpent in this rock here. I didn't notice that the first time. Like, like towering over here, her, threatening to take her. Now, why do they do this? Why do they put this stuff in the film, you guys, like this? Why do they do this? They do it because it's part of their sorcery, because no one's getting it. Probably 5,000 people on this channel get this in the entire world. Okay, I, I'm not even going to say that all 32,000 of my the subscribers here under, are understanding this. We're the only channel talking about this stuff. So why do they put it in the films? Because they never anticipated that anyone would figure it out. So we are rare. Okay, why are we different? Because we care enough to relentlessly search for the truth. That's what makes us different. All right. Okay, let's go in here. Now, so I thought to myself, so I'm looking at this, and I pull this up, and I'm going, okay, Harrison Ford and Kylo Ren, his son, and his son kills him crucifies him with the cross-shaped lightsaber everything in reverse it's like you're watching a polar opposite of the real story and i go okay there's there's got to be a relationship between these two characters other than what we see on the screen and yes in fact there was harrison ford born in 1942 We've talked all about this 42 number, you guys. This is so important. 
a rainbow can only be viewed at 42 degrees. I'll say that again. A rainbow can only be viewed at 42 degrees. This was a covenant that God made with Noah after the flood that he would never again destroy the world with water. With water. This cavity is filled with vitreous humor or water. This is just like the womb of a child that gestates for 40 weeks inside the womb. It rained for 40 days and 40 nights. The Israelites were in the wilderness for 40 years before they crossed the Red Sea. And it was parted. The remnant of Israel passed through. And there is a small vein or artery that comes through here. Through the Hyloid Canal. You see, it all fits together. Jesus was in the wilderness for 40 days. Tempted by the devil. In the matrix is where he was. Inside the cube. Being tempted by the devil. So all of this fits into this story. Now watch this. Because that alone is in a synchronicity. Just him being born in 1942. But when you look at his son. is depicted by this joker. Adam Driver. We come to understand that he was born on. 1119, which is 911 backwards. And remember, I told you that Christ was born on 911. And look at this. When we look at the opposites, Adam Driver was born with 42 days remaining in the year. Harrison Ford, his dad, Born in 1942. No one else is finding this, you guys. This is it. This is the truth. Now, this level of high sorcery can only be carried out by these people in Hollywood under the direction of a very, very, very dark force. And the Bible tells us who that dark force is. So then you need to begin to ask yourself, well, what effect is this having on people who go watch these movies? Well, if you don't know the truth, Believe me, this cannot be good. How many millions of people went to go see this film? Have no idea what is going on right under their noses. Wandering after the beast. So I believe that the rainbow holds the secrets to the truth about our reality. We've done a lot of videos on the rainbow and we'll continue to do more. But one thing I know for sure, I actually me measured the, the degree angle of this convex lens. This is the lens inside your inner eye. And I found that this angle is 42 degrees. So if we could find a way to figure out what else is encoded in this lens, we might find additional secrets. We'll keep working on that. Those things I am positive will be revealed to us in time. So that's how God works, right? We hunger for truth. We want to know him better, know him more. And little by little, he shows us the truth. So this is pretty much uh, the show, you guys. I wanted to also let you know that, let's see, it's 323, so about half an hour. Um, here's another link. Uh, what I'll do is I'll pop this in the chat, copy link. And uh, we're going to be decoding the Canberra Parliament House of Moloch. And again, sometimes I can't even believe some of the stuff we find on here. But um, it's pretty amazing. All right. So um, let's see here. Scroll up here. See if you guys have any questions give a couple shout outs thanks everybody for showing up all right so now, now there's probably many 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 more levels of decoding to do on star wars but i think we hit the main point and uh the main points brother ken wendell let's see here who else do we have in here les c wilson harrison ford is a reptilian shapeshifter 
Um, months aren't 28 days. Don't think they are either. They're like off a day or two. It all is based on the move. 42 is the answer. Yes, the secret to the universe, some people say, says Brother Ken. Finally, I'm awake. 40 weeks we carry a baby. Yes, it is 40 weeks after the last menstruation. And that is the key. That, that is the secret because it coincides with everything in the Bible that we just talked about. The flood, the Israelites, and Jesus in the wilderness. Do you see how it creates a perfect circle? Perfect, a perfect enclosed loop of truth. Now, I believe that Jesus died at 40 years old as well. And I'm people are just not buying that. But I've done a playlist called Jesus Died at 40. I think it's Jesus Crucified at 40 years old. Check out that playlist and I lay it all out. I even went back and looked at eclipses that happened during Jesus' life. And you will be shocked at the dates on which these eclipses fell. Two fell on my birthday. One fell on the date of Sandy Hook, 1214. Another, I believe, fell on 9-11, if my memory serves me correctly. So that's where we're at with that. Lucy's World, hey. Um, I'm just looking through your guys' uh, chat here. Um, Paul Panda's in the house. Um, let's see here. Now, we're probably wondering... How in the world did they know all of these, these, these mathematics and these numbers back when the Bible was written? It's because it came from God, you guys. It's the final proof. This is the proof that everyone's been waiting for. This is it. Anatomy, mathematics, comes from a very organized God. That's why I laugh when people tell me, you're in the numerology. Well, guess what? The whole reality is run by the numbers. Plain and simple. The Bible is full of numerology. You've been taught by religious indoctrination to be afraid of numerology, to categorize it as uh, some kind of, uh, you know, whatever they call it, right? And that what that does is that's their method to get you to, to hide the truth from you. Whatever they don't understand, they want you to just come and listen to a pastor explain it to you. Ozaro says, Casey... Eight's the narrow path in Star Wars, the same as the narrow path in Indiana Jones, Last Crusade. 77, Holy Spirit. Much love, 88 watching. You seem to get stuck on that 88 number. One time uh, we were in here and there were like 15 of us in the chat afterwards, but it yet it said one watching. So I don't really go by the number of people that they say are watching this channel. I'm, I know that far more are in this chat and are watching this live feed. All right, so what else do we have here? Um, let's see, 33.2. Yeah, take a look at my, if for those of you that believe he was 33, take a look at my playlist called Jesus Was Crucified at 40 Years Old. I address the 33. And again, this isn't a point of contention. This isn't anything we should be arguing about. If you don't believe me, you don't believe me. But I think I've pretty much laid it out with the, the 40 theme running through the Bible. And there's so much, much, much more. I think I have about 15 or 20 videos proving that he was 40. The movie, The 40-Year-Old Virgin, was Jesus. They were talking about Jesus. They even did the miracle magic trick with the little girl. You remember the actor in that film had a rubber ear. And he puts it back on the little girl, symbolizing the... Miracle of Jesus healing the soldier after his disciple cut off the ear of the soldier just before they took Jesus into custody. The 40-year-old virgin. Jesus was a 40-year-old virgin. They were making fun of him. And they're making fun of all of us because we believe them by thinking he was 33. So watch, watch the playlist, and I am positive you'll be convinced. Watch all the way through, and you will understand how you were lied to. They want you to believe he was 33. Why? Because there's 33 vertebrae in your spine. Why? Then didn't you believe the serpent and the chakras, and you allow yourself to become possessed by the demon. You succumb to that God of self-saving yourself instead of believing in Jesus Christ. That's where that's headed. Okay? And yes, you do have 33 vertebrae in your spine. But the serpent wishes to 
take over your your spine okay all right paul says i already hear you in my sleep i listen to you that much much love to you guys all right um what else do we have here i think we're going to cut it off there you guys adam driver plays the bad guy was born on 9 11 backwards november 19th with 42 days remaining fits into harrison ford who was born in 42 and it's these these synchronicities just go on and on and on uh we'll be back in about 20 minutes guess take a, a break i'm gonna make a cup of coffee and we're going to cover canberra parliament house of moloch what should probably do is pull this up and give you guys a little teaser image of it but i'll just wave because when, when i pull this up it's gonna it's gonna slow everything down so i'm gonna say goodbye for now you guys and we'll talk to you in about 20 20 minutes take care and be safe